I'm Steve Good, and welcome to My Scroll Salt Workshop. In tonight's video, we're going to talk about uh, something that everybody seems to uh, love to hate, and that's sanding. Uh, especially scroll saw projects where you have a lot of detail sanding. So I'm going to show you a product tonight that I purchased a couple of weeks ago at the Saw Expo that uh, has really uh, made sanding much easier for me. And I thought you guys might like to uh, see a little demonstration of it. The product I'm referring to tonight is the uh, sanding mop that I purchased at the Saw Expo a couple of weeks ago from a company uh, that makes the sand flea that a lot of you may have heard of and it's called uh, RJR Studios. Now there's a few places online that I've found to uh, buy these sandy mops, including Woodcraft and a couple other places, but uh, this particular one I found from RJR Studios. It's a 180 grit, six inch double mop kit, and it cost me right at $50. Now I know that sounds a little expensive, but uh, when you see the benefits of what you get from this thing, I think you might change your mind. Uh, the sandpaper that uh, is attached to this mop, which as you can see are simply small strands of paper, and I'll show you here in a minute how they're put together, uh, that form a circular mop that you can attach to a drill press or a hand drill, and uh, you can do some really nice sanding with this, especially on the back of scroll saw projects where you tend to get a little bit of tear out. When you open the box uh, from RJR Studios, you'll receive a few things. You're going to get the arbor, uh, that the mop is mounted to, uh, a couple spacers or several spacers and a nut uh, to hold it on. You're going to get several sheets of the sanding paper that is cut into the strips that you will place back to back on the arbor and you'll basically build it up to whatever width you need. Now as you can see I had uh, quite a bit of sandpaper left over and uh, you'll also get these little rubber spacers and what they're for is as you're placing the sheets on the arbor, you can randomly insert these uh, spacers to make the width of your mop wider. Now what that allows you to do is uh, the wider the mop is, the less aggressive it is to cut, which is generally what we're needing to have when we're on our scroll saw project, so a lot of times they're fairly delicate. Uh, so in, this, in our situation, you're probably going to want to add all of these spacers. Uh, you'll also get a sheet of instructions that show you how to put it together. It's basically pretty simple. You just apply the, the uh, uh, nut on this end or the washer on this end and you start applying the sheets and you just alter the, alternate the direction that you apply them as you go around. Once you get it to the thickness you want, uh, you go ahead and apply the nut on the other end and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, again, the advantages of a sanding mop is it allows you to sand uh, contours. Uh, very easily and very very quickly and uh, basically a sanding mop when you hook it up to your drill press or a hand drill you want it to turn at a fairly high speed and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, attach this one to the drill press first and give you a little demonstration of how it works. Okay I've got the sanding mop uh, attached to our drill press over here and I've got the drill press turned up uh, to its highest speed again you want to get uh, good speed going on this mop to make it the most efficient. Now, where the sanding mop stands out uh, in most areas is sanding contours. It's really not designed, although it will work, to sand the flat edges of pieces. You know, a lot of times you can do that easier on, you know, with hand sanding or whatever. But what it's really good at is the contours. And in this case, I think we had a board like this that we just wanted to knock the hard edges off of. We could go ahead and turn the mop on, and I'll give you a little demonstration of that. And basically what you want to do is you don't want to force the piece into the mop. You just let the mop do the work. So just gently take it up and you run the piece into the mop. And if you saw what I did there, I let the back edge of the, of the piece get onto the mop and it kind of wanted to pull it away from me. But you kind of want to avoid that a little bit and get a good hold of it. Now the other nice thing about the mop is it's touch friendly. You can touch this mop and other than heating up your hand, it's not dangerous. So I can take this piece and get all the edges nice and smoothed down, okay? It works really well for that. Where the sanding mop really shines, however, is when you have contours, areas like this that need to be sanded. And you can see where I've uh, taken a little bit of a bit out of the end of this piece of wood here. I've got a lot of tear out here on the end, and the mop should do a really good job of taking care of that. see 
the mop did a really good job of really smoothing out that interior surface there, which would have been somewhat difficult to sand by hand. Uh, now I'll show you uh, how I use the sanding mop the most and what seems to be the most effective for me. Okay, here's how I've ended up using the mop the most, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but this is the back side of a word art pattern that I cut out, and even using really good blades, you're going to get some fuzzies on the back of a scroll saw project, and I think you can probably see some here at the bottom of the E and up in the, in the B over here and in the opening for the E, and uh, the sanding mop is absolutely ideal for getting rid of that. Now, I know a lot of you will go in there with uh, small sanding sticks or just whatever you can get your hands on and try to sand this out, but uh, watch how easy the mop takes care of this for me. a matter of about two minutes of sanding I was able to take care of probably 90% of the uh, tear out on the back of this pattern. Um, you might find one or two little pieces to clean up but not very much and if you just spent a couple more minutes uh, it would have come out nearly perfect. The other thing that I like that it does for these word art patterns is it really softens the edges all the way around the pattern which is uh, pretty difficult to do uh, pan sanding and make it feel this smooth and nice. Uh, when somebody picks this piece up, it really has a good feel because all the corners have been softened a great deal, which I think looks great on these word art patterns. And uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see the results here, but uh, it actually does a fantastic job of smoothing out these edges and taking all the fuzzies off the back of these word art patterns. Okay, another way that you can uh, mount your sanding mop is in a high-speed hand drill. In this case, I'm using a corded drill because you want to have plenty of power for these mops. Um, I've simply just mounted this drill upside down and clamped it to a board here off one of my workbenches. And I'll go ahead and start it up. And in this mode, um, it's really handy to be able to get behind the mop like this and support a thin piece of lumber that has some deli more delicate fretwork on it. And if you're going to sand the fuzzies off the back of some delicate fretwork, you want to apply very little pressure and you want to put your hand behind the board to support it. So we'll go ahead and start it up and I'll show you how to do that. And you'll be able to have your small delicate fretwork sanded nice and clean without having to do all the delicate or the intricate hand sanding that you normally do. Now, there's probably some projects that I don't know that I would be willing to try this on. If I had just spent uh, two days uh, cutting a very delicate uh, portrait pattern, I'm not sure I would trust this. Um, that's probably pushing it a little farther than it's meant to be. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I think if you'll give these sanding mops a try, you'll find that they're pretty handy. Uh, they don't work in every situation, uh, but for what they do, they do it very well.